so we got two minutes on fossilization and skeletonization. So skeletonization is the next step in our stages of death. And this is after decomposition happens, all the organic material on the body is gone. And so the skeleton is left. Now, the rate at which this happens, typically if a body is left in natural form, to decompose and to break down naturally about three weeks to five years after death or six years or seven years or plus this process can happen and it all depends on all the factors we've talked about before so if there's a casket if there's a vault if they're exposed to the element elements what the heat is what the cold is if there's water if it's dry all these come into play so skeletonization happens and that moves right into fossilization, which is why I'm including them together. So after hundreds or thousands of years, the skeleton, the bone, begins to then break down. As it breaks down, um, minerals crystallize either between the bone or in place of the bone during this process. So then the bone can be replaced by these crystals and turns into a fossilized skeleton. Now this doesn't always happen, to a body, the conditions need to be just right, um, dry enough, and um, you know, uncontaminated enough. But this can happen over thousands of years, which is why when you dig up and you find old bones, they are considered to be fossils because they have they've turned into fossils. Thanks, guys. This is two minutes on the last stages of death that we've been doing: skeletonization and fossilization. Bye. Mm -hmm.